Hello everybody, I am Hereticus. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters Colosseum, episode 19. And today we are battling Yami Merrick. We battled Mag Ishtar, now we battle Yami Merrick. <laughs> this should be fun. He hit puberty. Merrick? Yes. No, I'm oh. much more exciting. exciting. It's time to duel against shadows and darkness. Shadows and darkness. You've gone mad. You want the title as Capsule Monsters Champion? The title? Yeah. <laughs> I care nothing about the title. Then what do you want? What I want is simple. Explain yourself. Well, you're a fucked up individual. Why? That's right. Woo! Yeah! Let's do Mac. Ah, oh, shit. We're just on the poop train now. I don't even know what kind of monsters he's gonna have. I'm gonna have to wing it. Shit, not again. Wind and dark are pretty much my safest attributes to choose. Shit. Now that's unfortunate. So we have... I guess we would want to stick with our our dark units. I wouldn't want three expensive units, but it might be helpful. I mean, I guess since we have enough, we may as well pick like Thousand Dragon or Summon Skull, huh? Maybe we even use the blue eyes. Two ten AP. Hmm. Let's use the blue eyes. So going up the middle doesn't do anything unless you're sitting on a diagonal, so. Let's do blue eyes right here. Right? We'll do blue eyes here at the corner. And then we'll follow him up with the bird boys. So he'll have his team of flyers accompany him. And then we'll have Actually, we'll put the blue eyes here, and the bird boys will fly in unison next to each other alongside him. And the only reason I say that is because Dark Magician will go here, and then jump off to the right, and then we'll have Karibo here, Barrel Dragon come down the front, and then a secondary Karibo assist. So Blue Eyes and Dark Magician and that Karibo are going to be my first summons. He's got wind, so that means wood would be used, or fire. So water and wood would have been useless. And he has one lightning. So I did pretty good with neutraling uh, collateral. Because my only light is blue eyes, but I have no wood and no water. This is no ordinary duel. Let the shadow game begin. The 
shadow game. Nice ah, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to yawn about your shadow game. It's just been a long day, man. It's my turn. What's the max AP? 600. Oof. That's gonna cut it close. Literally, Dark Magician and Blue Eyes are my top top dogs, but. Man, that's gonna be cutting it close, considering the fact the other ones are 40. And Barrel Dragon costs 100, so. That is very true. Oh, shit. It's like a mini puzzle map. Whatever thing he hits on his side of the map, that tile closes on mine. That's not good. But it doesn't say the tiles block, so that means something. I think no matter what the creature is, it. Oh. Hmm. Less HP, slightly less damage, more defense. But a plus one in attack range? And it would cost 50 more AP. I think this is what we have to do. Now is the time, time for, for evolution. evolution. Show, Show your true strength. Oh, I was going to say true strength. Show him the power of a magician. We have the Dark Magician transcend your power to the Magician of Black Chaos. Nice. <laughs> nice. And they'll each get a perfect block. So Barrel Dragon's gonna be semi-expensive. Let me make sure... Well, I mean, no harm in not summoning them, to be honest. It takes 210 to move a blue eyes. Shit. And I, I lose 150 because I have to use the SPA ability of perfect block. I'll let him prep and move towards me. Because that means I'll have an advantage at least a little bit when he travels out. Because he's still summoning, and I've, I've already prepped. So that means I could start to move my creatures at this point in the duel. Even if it means it's only half of them. And now with perfect block, I should be okay to start some, start some hell. Let's fuck him up. So this center is just a solid path. I'm thinking with the SPA ability, I might have just enough to move everything but that last Karibo. Which is perfectly fine by me, because that means I get to keep the Karibo. Man, he's dropping a lot of tiles on me. <sighs> okay. Let's see if my theory is correct. How do you move an attack? Move in an X and attack with one in front of you. So as long as I don't step up to that one. Well, I 
actually. Yep, that made a splash noise, though. Or it made a splash animation. So I guess in the turns I can't move one of those dragons. I'll move the Karibo instead. Because I definitely had enough to move everything but one Karibo. It's just going to be a matter of every other turning it. And Barrel Dragon's about to get uh, slapped a little bit. But that's okay. We're gonna about we're about to test the strength of this Barrel Dragon. Or not the Barrel Dragon, the, the Dark Magician. Oh, good, he moved his unit in that. That's good. Alright, let's see what we got here. It's your last turn. We don't do anything to you, and we don't really do anything to you. So, in theory, we could take out one of them. Five damage. <laughs> Seventy five. I'm going to make it really hard for him to try to escape this. Alright, first let's take care of one of these guys. Let's see if I can kite some attention off of him. So I could definitely get hit three times, but only take damage of two of them, and one of them is going to be that thunder creature. So which of these is going to be the most helpful to move? So no matter what, he'll move something into poison here. No matter what, he's going to stand into poison there. This is just a solid rock, so moving that doesn't help. Honestly, if I move here. Uh, stop stalling! Hurry up! Actually, if I move here, I can kind of intervene on either side, no matter what. 50 points of damage! Holy crap! <laughs> to think a loser like you is in the early lead. He sounds so unamused. Okay. Nothing happens to Barrel Dragon. So, Barrel Dragon's safe. He's attacking my wind creature. I wasn't concentrating. I'm actually super okay with this. That's one attack on Blue Eyes, but the shield nulls it. That Thunder creature can, though. And that's the one that we gotta take out. So Karibo can't do anything over there, so I gotta leave it to them. Every move is another step in achieving my future. So that Karibo can't do anything either. Taking out that dragon would be super beneficial. Can I do it in a way that doesn't get my Barrel Dragon killed. 
Yes, I can. That's the kind of move I needed to make. He's okay. Now this section. So you will battle here. Damn, you don't kill. Neither do you. Damn. Um... I may be sacrificing two creatures, but this appears to be the only option I have without really hindering the chances of losing blue eyes right now. So... Actually... Can I move you? And I'm gonna bank it on this killing. Every opportunity has led up to this so far. No, he does less damage, so it doesn't really matter in that regard. It just means I might only lose one creature. Because it means he won't attack the, the bird. Although, I still might lose blue eyes here. <laughs> That's the problem. I, I could pro- oh, well, that's not the one I'm concerned about. Well, I'm not losing blue eyes, that's for certain. Because he's moving out to attack the Karibo. That's attacking the other Karibo. So everything's just kind of weakened. So if I position everything right and I time it perfectly, or well enough, the damage, then my monster will not fall. I think we'll be alright. Yeah, you'll do that. Now, at the start... 50 will destroy it. Damn. So I do lose it. Right? No, it's at the end of the turn. Sweet. Okay. Um. Let me do this. 92, 132. Let me hold on that because you can attack a lot of things this turn. Good shit. Ooh, good. Goody, goody, goody. Dark contract. Good shit. I didn't really see what leveled up too much on him, but I'm sure it was something good. I'll destroy your five senses until all you can feel is the doom in your heart. The doom. The doom. Um, so the Karibo will finish this. Actually, hold up. Can you... No, because if he can't, there's no way. Um, so we'll move you here. Just for the sake of kind of realigning. Okay. And then... We'll probably just sacrifice this one. I mean, he could survive the 50. He attacks in an X. Moves in a plus, attacks in an X. So... Let's retreat you. And then we can move you nowhere. So you'll just chill out, I guess. And then we'll move you in. And then oh, one HP, are you kidding me? I mean, 
Luckily, he could take both those hits. Which is not what I'm concerned about. It's just... Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't know it was at the end of my turn. All pieces take 50. If I would have known that... Oh, gee whiz. Well, that just made it easier for me to win this, didn't it? Easy win, boys. And I don't think we lost a piece. I didn't see if that splashed. No, I didn't. I don't really want to move the Karibo in. Alright, so he's dead next turn no matter what. So just everybody go back, chill back. Group meeting, talk about what a lovely day we've had. And then let's see what your special ability is. Increase the attack of all friendly dark attribute monsters within range by 30 points for the turn. It's actually kind of okay. I take it all he's going to do is attack, correct? Yep. 120. So it would have taken him three turns, no matter what. Which means we would have won either way, because we got the first hit. Good shit. And now, because of our new evolution, we win. This will finish you. Once and for all. Get the fuck out of my face, bitch. Get out of my face. Ha, I'll make you pay, Pharaoh. No. You go away. You go away, no. Bye-bye. Bye, bitch. I didn't realize my muscles didn't scroll up. <sighs> what a glorious afternoon. I win. Yay! What do you mean, Lay? Nothing, nothing more, but memories go a long way. That's Wait, what makes the world happen. Wait, what do you mean? Is he going somewhere? <laughs> See ya. Wait, he's going somewhere? Merrick. Oh, and he's gone. Hey, we leveled up again. Or no, we only leveled up once. Bonus AP and HP while our attack went up. So our attack is now pretty good, where the Dark Magicians was. Our HP is almost there, and our plus AP is still kind of okay. Well, goody goody. Goody 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 goody. Woo! Forty-nine points. Holy crap. Our symbol, our blue eyes, and our Karibo leveled up. Let's go. I'm in. I don't really know. Plus AP, plus HP, plus defense, and then attributes. So other than that, nothing changed. Kind of wish the attack went up, but... Oh well. Karibo. And now we get to select monsters from him. Winged Dragon of the Guardian Fortress 2. Uh, Ryukeshin. Blast Juggler. Um, I guess we'll take the Blast Juggler since we don't have it. It'll be good to add to the collection. Save game data. Alright everybody, if you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified on all future episodes. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care, and peace!